Would you be interested in debating Turning, turning Point USA? Uh, I don't believe they understand free markets despite claiming to. I, yeah, I'd love to debate Turning Point. Uh, Charlie Cook or, or what's her name, um, Candace Owen, uh, about what capitalism really means and particularly about their fascination with, with uh, um, Trump and with religion and with, with, uh, with nationalism uh, and why all of those are an, an antagonistic to uh, free markets and what free markets w w really mean. Now, I'll say that I, I know Charlie Cook and I met Charlie Cook when he was still a high school student, when he just founded turning points and Charlie Cook for a while and and I think this you know I don't think I'm out of line saying this was actually heavily influenced by both Ayn Rand and heavily influenced by me if you watch early Charlie Cook talks he often uses examples taken right out of my talks he often uses examples taken right out of my talk on morality of capitalism and he's told me that he told me he used to steal my material when uh, or borrow or, or, or I mean flattery is the best form of no, imitation is the best form of flattery. So he, by imitating, he, he was flattering me. But, but I, I think he actually did that, right? Uh, and um, so he went off, off. Now, he was always a little religious. But he went off with Trump. Trump got to his head because Trump embraced him. The Trump uh, administration embraced him. And... I think it's been amazing for them the amount of how far they how fast they grew with Trump, how fast they grew by embracing Trump and Trumpism and the whole idea of Trump, and and how many people give them money because of that, and also the fact that he can smooth the Donald Trump Jr. has become a good friend of his, and he can do all these events, and you know the turning points become massive because they're so friendly towards Trump. Okay. There are three interrelated arguments used by today's conservatives to justify capitalism, which can best be designated as the argument from faith, the argument from tradition, the argument from depravity. Sensing their need of a moral base, many conservatives decided to choose religion as their moral justification. They are claiming that freedom, capitalism, and America are based on faith in God. Politically, such a claim contradicts the fundamental principles of the United States. In America, religion is a private matter and must not be brought into political issues. Intellectually, to rest one's case on faith is to concede that reason is on the side of one's enemies. To concede that there are no rational arguments to support the ideas which created this country. No rational justification for freedom, justice, property, individual rights, and they, they can be accepted only on faith. Consider the implications of that attempt. While the communists are claiming that they are the champions of reason and science, the conservatives conceded and retreat into the realm of mysticism, into another world, surrendering this world to communism. It is the kind of victories that communist irrational ideology could never have won on its own merits. Now consider a second argument, the attempt to justify capitalism on the ground of tradition. Some people declare that to be a conservative means to uphold the status quo, the given, the established, regardless of what it might be, regardless of whether it is good or bad, right or wrong, defensible or indefensible. They declare that we must defend the American political system, not because it is right, but because our ancestors chose it, not because it is good, but because it is old. America was created by men who broke with all political traditions and originated a system unprecedented in history, relying on nothing but the power of their own intellect. Gentlemen, if you want to save capitalism, there is only one type of argument that you should adopt, the only one that has ever won in any moral issue, the argument from self-esteem. Check your premises, Convince yourself of the rightness of your cause, then fight for capitalism with full moral certainty.